Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcations. This time we're going to be learning about adding fractions with like denominators. As you can see, we have three important things that we need to remember when adding fractions with like denominators. So the first thing we have to do is add the numerators together. So remember, in a fraction, the numerator is the part that is above the fraction bar in the top, and the denominator is below the fraction bar and it is in the bottom of the fraction. So this is the numerator and the denominator is underneath. The second step is you keep the denominator the same. So we're going to add the numerators together, keep the denominator the same, and then reduce if it is possible. Now it's not always possible to reduce, but sometimes you can reduce to the lowest terms. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. All right, let's go ahead and get started with some practice problems about how to add fractions with like denominators. Our first problem gives us 3 sevenths plus 1 seventh. We've already said that the first step that we have to do is add the numerators together. So we're just going to add 3 plus 1 and we're going to get 3 plus 1 over the denominator, which stays the same. In this case, is 7. So we do 3 plus 1 and we get 4. And then 7 in the denominator stays the same. So our solution is 4 sevenths. Now you need to check to see if you can reduce it. The easiest way to see if something can be reduced is you look for a number that goes into both the numerator and the denominator. In this case, there's no number that goes into 4 and also goes into 7. So that means that our solution is just 4 sevenths and we don't reduce it. Jumping down to number 2. This problem gives us 2 tenths plus 3 tenths. So again, the first thing we're going to do is add the numerators together. So we're going to say 2 plus 3 over the denominator, which stays the same, which is 10. So that doesn't change. So now we have 2 plus 3, which is 5. 5 over 10, which stays the same in the denominator. Now the last step is to check to see if we can reduce it. In this case, 5 tenths does reduce both by 5. So 5 goes into 5, which is the numerator, and 5 also goes into 10, which is the denominator. When you reduce this, 5 divided by 5 is 1, and then 10 divided by 5 is 2. So our final solution is going to be 1 half. Finally, the last problem for adding fractions with like denominators gives us 2 ninths plus 4 ninths. So again, we're going to go ahead and add the numerators, 2 plus 4, so we got 2 plus 4. And then we're going to keep the denominator the same because they're already alike, so we're going to keep the 9. Then we're going to do 2 plus 4, which is 6, and then the denominator is 9, so our solution right now is 6 ninths. Then you have to check to see if you can reduce it. So if we look, 6 and 9, well, 2 goes into 6, but it doesn't go into 9. 3 goes into 6, okay, and 3 also goes into 9. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, and then 9 divided by 3 is 3. So I know I can reduce this by 3 because 3 goes into both 6 and 9. Then finally our solution is going to be 2 thirds after we reduce it by 3. And if you want to do some practice on adding fractions with like terms, go ahead and click this link and you'll be taken to some quick practice problems that will give you a grade based on how you did. Thanks so much for watching this short video. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!